Okay. Hey guys and welcome. It's been a while on YouTube. I just wanted to drop this very quick tutorial on how to make these blends in Illustrator. It's super fun, it's super easy, so let's just get straight into it. Enjoy. All right, so we're here in Illustrator and I just wanted to share quickly that I use uh, a range of colors for this. And basically what I, what I do normally is just I create these squares really quickly. Oh, really quickly. Um, duplicate them, maybe these four. And then I just add in some, uh, some colors from the library. Uh, I have these color ranges here. And basically what I have is I select that one. And then if I like sort of a range of colors, I use that for my color palette. Um, Basically, it's very, very simple to do this. That's maybe even an even better way, but this is how I, I work typically. And then just, you know, there you just have the color palette. And that, that's it. That's a very quick way to start. Um, next up is I'm going to try and create these, um, these patterns. Uh, all right. So I'm going to start with a very simple uh, circle. To choosing this tool and then go in and create a circle. What, you, what I have here is, is this color, but actually I need a, a gradient sort of a type of color. So I create that by pressing here. And then I chose, uh, go in and choose the eye dipper, eye color, eye dropper tool. And then I go back here and I check, check the second color. Still with the eye dropper tool uh, selected, I, I choose maybe another color like this one. And then I have my, my sort of my, my first part of my blend. I'm going to then create, like drag and duplicate that one by holding or down uh, Alt. And then um, um, selecting the two, I go into my object and then go into blends and then I go into make blend. And I have this, this uh, blend in, in itself is not the, the, uh, the end, end blend. So basically what I do is I go into uh, blend settings and then it will come over here. I'm going to choose what is called a uh, specific distance. And then the four pixels is, is just fine. So basically that's what I'm going to choose here. Press OK. And there, there you have like the basic uh, blend. Super, super simple. Nothing too complex on that one. Um, but then let's say I want to create some cool uh, shape I can, to apply my blend to, to create these nice ideas. I can then go in and draw a, a tool of some sort or a, a curve that I would like it to, to follow along in. Um, and, and this might be, you know, something along uh, this. Let me just uh, re shuffle that one a little bit. It looks really, really weird. And remember, or no, if you notice, like I actually kept the uh, the endpoints not uh, joined, and the and that's basically, and then I just switch around so I have the color on my uh, line instead of my, and then I have this very very simple um, curve. And then I'm gonna select the curve and select my blend here. Go into object, go into blend, and then go into replace uh, axis, and then you have this instead. And suddenly it's a lot more interesting. Um, I can also go in and say, well, actually, I want to reverse my the way that it, it sort of blends around. Uh, I can do that by choosing blend again and then flip axis. And then I have this. And then the good thing about having them separated is that I can choose, go in and, and select my, my curve and then edit it, you know, along the way. And, and that just makes it a lot more interesting, you know, to be able to do that. So all of a sudden you have this uh, super, super nice um, curve that you can then go in and, and, and choose and, and redo. Uh, if you want to, you can double click on this one and you can actually, let's say you want to rotate how the light goes. Uh, no, that was not the rotate button. That's actually, you can go in and change how much of the curve you want to, uh, of the circle you want. But if you just want to, you hold down Alt and then you, for instance, you drag it and suddenly you get a different sort of look on your color, right? And it could look really nice if you 
if you want to, to work on that. You can also go in and select the distance if you wanted to tweak how big it is. Um, sometimes it may be nicer to make the front bigger and the, the back smaller. Uh, you can also go in and, and tweak your color settings on this one. So instead of having it blue, I can go in and maybe make it uh, a darker red here in the front uh, if I want that. Maybe even change the the blue to a, an orange or I, I don't really want that. But, you know, I, I could if I wanted to. Uh, and that's super nice to be able to do that. So, so that's just it. That's a super, super simple tip here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, one last tip. If you want to, you know, use this uh, and don't want to do a new blend again, you can just maybe uh, duplicate that and then create, let's say, a new uh, curve that you wanted to follow, a new path. And then again, select the two, go into Object, go down to Blend, and then choose uh, Replace Axis, and then you suddenly you have it here. So it's super, super simple. And uh, you, you can also see here why I didn't want to uh, use a, a, an unbroken uh, line because it simply doesn't work that well. Um, but hey, there's that option as well. So yeah, that's just a, what I wanted to add to that one. Enjoy again, guys.